Every year in the United States, about 40,000 children are adopted by complete strangers. Many of them will wind up wondering where they came from. One guy we met fishing is running out of time. What are you going to do with all those fish? Come on, man. I'll give them away. Do you? Yeah. You clean them? Shared wealth. Shared wealth and the man upstairs blesses. Okay. July 1st of 2010. What did they tell you? Told me I was ate up with cancer. Uh, adenocarcinoma, which is a non-small cell lung cancer. At that time, the doctor at uh, Thomas Johns Cancer Institute was telling me three to six months. So far, I've been through 24 radiations and eight chemos. It has a big effect on me. It changes your whole life. I was uh, given up for adoption at birth, and, uh, um, and a very loving family adopted me back when I was six months old. The good Lord's going to take me away from this earth one day, and I would really love to find my biological family before, before I pass. Kenny loves the family that took him in. They loved him back. His dad remembers the day their new son came home from Richmond Social Services. He called about 2 o'clock, said they were on their way with him, and he'd been with us ever since. He fit right in and always been part of the family. Kenny became an avid fisherman and a carpenter. He ran a bait shop in Florida. I've never, I've never been sick before in my life. You know, I've always been a good help. But Kenny's adoptive sister was killed 13 years ago. Their mom died nine months later from a broken heart. Kenny's known his real name for a long time. <laughs> he discovered his Richmond adoption file went missing at social services. All the state has is a brief summary. It listed uh, my name, you know, Joseph Todd Harper, and it listed my mother's name as Martha Harper. Uh, said that she was in her early 20s. Um, Something about that my father was in his middle 20s. He had some military background. So you're not mad at your mom or your dad? Oh, no, no. Um, I mean, I feel that for whatever reason, it was she did it in, in, in my best interest. It's always been a wonder, you know, where I come from, you know, what were the circumstances, you know, what she looked like, you know. Am I Irish, German, Dutch? Does he have any brothers or sisters? And what would he like to say to his mother if she sees this but doesn't want to contact him? I love you regardless. If you have any clues in this case, you can call me or you can contact Kenny at kenny.malpass at gmail.com. In Chester, Mark Holmberg, CBS 6 News. What are you going to do with all those fish? Come on, man. I'll give them away. Do you? Yeah. You clean them? Shared wealth. Shared wealth and the man upstairs blesses. July 1st of 2010. What did they tell you? Told me I was ate up with cancer. Uh, adenocarcinoma, which is a non-small cell lung cancer. So far, I've been through 24 radiations and eight chemos. It has a big effect on me. It changes your whole life. It's always been a wonder, you know, where I come from, you know, what were the circumstances, you know, what she looked like. And what would he like to say to his mother if she sees this but doesn't want to contact him? I love you regardless. Kenny has gotten a lot of answers since our last fishing trip. And I was getting 30, 40 emails a day from people I didn't even know. Um, just, you know, wishing you the best, you know, sending our love and our prayers and, you know, from just total strangers. And that was, that was awesome. Among those who reached out was this woman, who was also adopted as a baby. I, I wrote everything down on a magazine real quick. I had to keep replaying it. And, um, and I came down and I posted it. Polly knows some of what Kenny was feeling. Well, someone told me once it's like a book, it's like a great novel, and, and but they've ripped out the first chapter. She reached out to Joanne Stanick of Tucson, Arizona, the woman who found Polly's birth family and a searcher many believe to be the best search angel on the planet. This birth took place in, in Richmond. Uh, we look in the surrounding areas, and I was checking actually yearbooks, and I found a woman with the same name, and so I started researching. Kenny's birth mother had a different last name, but still lives in the Richmond area. Joanne, whose team has reunited about 4,000 birth families, knew to tread carefully. 
I think success actually lies in how how she's approached. Many birth mothers, it's a very shocking call to get, and they've kept, had this secret all their lives. Kenny called us right away with the news. His mother is alive. When, when the call came through, when Joanna called and said that she had found my birth mother, uh, it was very emotional. Everybody in the house started crying. Actually, I felt like a pregnant lady with all the different emotions going through me. <laughs> oh, man, he's a nice one, too. Real nice one, real nice fish, real nice fish. But in the real next nice few fish. days, he found himself wrestling with new, real powerful nice emotions. His mother isn't ready to see him. Awesome. No, she just, uh, basically when I talked to her, I told her I, you know, that I knew she'd done it in my best interest. And she said, you know, she, she said, yes, I did. And that's pretty much where it, where it stood. And she's just stated that she hasn't talked or seen my father in many, many years. Polly knows that feeling too. You no, know, they don't all end happily. I've met my sister, which is right there. I have sister Renee and a half brother. That was happy, but um, my birth mother wanted nothing um, to do with me. You know, through life, I've watched the little talk shows and you know where they've reunited birth parents with their, with their siblings, and you know it's all rejoicing and hugging and crying, and you know it's a very joyful time, and that's the dream that I had had. Kenny has found out he has a half brother, who we've spoken with several times, and will be meeting soon. There's just so much, you know, when you when you find out that you know you have a brother that you never knew you had, and it's, it's like you don't even know where the conversation is going to go from one sentence to the next. He also has an aunt, nephews, and a lot of answers about his background. Kenny plans to keep on fishing for answers, hanging on with his adoptive father, who has loved him unconditionally for 45 years. His end may be near, but at last he is connected with his beginning.